let's get started first of all we'll go to localhost slash php my admin and log in as root over here provide your root password and now what we are going to do is create a user over here the user will be accessing that particular database so go to users account we will say add a user account and over here we will say our user now before you go ahead and start creating users and everything the best thing would be that in some file you keep this information ready username I'll be using foo user the password which will be auto generated will copy it over here database name that we want to use and a database type this is suggested by Drupal so we'll for the timing stick to this type okay so keep this handy with you so over here our username is going to be foo user host is going to be localhost this is basically saying that our database will only be accessible from within that host where the database is created password we'll just say to generate a password and we'll copy paste this password into our file so i've copy pasted the password into my file now over here database for the user account for the time being we will say create database with the same name and grant all privileges so it will immediately create one database and it will be assigned to this particular user so we'll click on go and now you can see that the database is created for the foo user localhost so if you go to the databases list you can see database foo user so what it has done is it has created a database with the same name so just to avoid a security issues and all because then your database name username is same uh, we would prefer to have the uh, database name different from the username so we'll click on this database name go to operations and here we will rename the database first so whatever database name you had decided keep it here click on go okay so now our database is renamed you can see over here fine databases our database is renamed fine let's go back to this again we'll go to its operations and here we will change its collation to utf8 mb4 unicode ci so let's search for that utf8 mb4 unicode ci so let's search for that utf8 mb4 okay here is this unicode so over here we have set it to utf8 mb4 unicode ci and again we will click on go query is successfully executed let's just click on the database once again and over here databases you can see our database is created now to check whether we can access this database from that particular user or not we will log out okay so now we will log in as the user foo user and whatever our password was there so let's for the time being i'll just copy paste it so now you can see this user has access to foo site db which we had created and database is there fine so now we are ready with our database that can be used for the drupal installation or maybe for any other purpose dependent upon your requirement